Hello and welcome to Noggin Comics. To celebrate the release of Marvel Spider-Man 2, we wanted to talk about a comic that came out in 2005 based off a video game called Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. Now, this is a This is an example of why we just don't collect for a financial gain, but we collect to read what we like. So, like, I personally, I love books that are based off of video games, like, you know, Double Dragon. Or, you know, DC, who did a phenomenal job adapting Injustice into a comic book form based off the video game. Now, truthfully, I can't say that about... Marvel Nemesis The Imperfects. It is a six part series. You know, I was able to get these for like a buck at, uh, I think, Nerd and Now, and uh, Invigo Pikes. It is by Greg Pak and Renato Arlem. Uh, Greg Pak wrote it, Arlem drew the art. Now, the art is perfectly fine for this, uh, sometimes. Uh, my biggest complaint is the over sexualization of Electra in it, which makes sense for the time period. But reading it through the lens of today is a little hard to read this book and not be like, okay, can you just put some clothes on? Uh, for example, this is from the first issue. If I can find it. That's what I'm talking about. She's dressed like that throughout the entirety of this comic. Uh, all six issues. But, but let's talk about some positives. Um, did I enjoy this? For five issues, I did. Uh, this is about, it has Wolverine, Elektra, Spider-Man, Daredevil, The Thing, uh, Storm, uh, Human Torch. Uh, but the best character of this entire six-arc series is The Thing, who is going through this identity crisis because... The first issue is kind of like a sci-fi horror epic where these superheroes, Spider-Man, The Thing, and Wolverine, and Elektra, they all get abducted by this evil scientist that gives them this power, injects them with this power, and this evil, of course, uh, because he's trying to find a way that he can create the perfect team of superheroes or villains uh the imperfects honestly that's what they're called and you don't really see them until issue three or four uh but you know our heroes are you know the reason why they're heroes is they overcome and they overcome this potion this power that is injected to them but here's the thing the thing and storm can't really get over the fact that they felt so much power they felt like belonging that it was one of the few times that they felt like they were in control and that's where the story Greg Pox writing actually succeeds at is it allows you know Ben Grimm the opportunity to shine in a otherwise you know over you know Avengers filled comic book uh, so I do have to preface I have not played the game. Uh, at that time period, uh, I was playing Ultimate Spider-Man, the Shell Shade game. I was 12, 13 at that time. So, Marvel Nemesis wasn't on my radar. But that being said, if I get a chance, I'm going to buy it and play it if I ever get to see it. Uh, if I was to break it down issue by issue, issue one is a great foundation. Issue 2 is where we see our our superheroes overcome. We get introduced to, you know, Daredevil in this one. Uh, and then we slowly start getting introduced to the Imperfects and who they are. I mean, this is, as you can tell, they're on the covers after that. Now, they don't leave an impression. And I, I'm thinking that's probably why this did not kick off a full-fledged series. Is it good? Is it fun? Is it enjoyable? Yes. You give a 
crap about who the Imperfects are? No, I couldn't tell you who they are after reading this. Um, Johnny Ohm is an older convict who's probably the most interesting one of it, and I heard he's the same in the video game, how he's the most interested, interesting and perfect in the video game. But yeah, I wanted to talk about video games and comics. You know, with the release of Marvel, Marvel Spider-Man 2, which I have been playing a lot of the last couple of days, it makes me realize, it makes me want to go down that route and talk about, are these comic books that are based off of video games any good? Let me know. Is that something that you would want us to do? Would, we, would you want us to hunt down some video game based comic books? Review them on the channel, break them down. And if you have played Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects, or if you've read this six issue arc, let me know, did you enjoy it? Until then, see you at the comic shop.